In today's lesson, we're going to talk about how to calculate the volume of a composite rectangular prism. So just to recap, let's say if we have a rectangular prism that looks like this. This is just a quick rough sketch. This is the left, this would be the width, and this is the height. The volume of that rectangular prism is the length times the width times the height. So let's say we have a length of 10 feet, a width of 5 feet, and a height of 4 feet. The volume of the rectangular prism is going to be the length, 10 feet, times the width, which is 5 feet, times the height of 4 feet. 5 times 4 is 20, and 20 times 10 is 200. And when you multiply the units feet by feet by feet, you get the volume in cubic feet. So we're going to use this formula to calculate the volume of this rectangular prism and this one as well. And then we're going to add it to get the total volume of the composite rectangular prism. So starting with the first one, we know the height of the rectangular prism. That is for this one on the left. The height is 16. It has a length of 4 and a width of 7. So this is the width. This is the height. And this part is the left, which I'm going to rewrite it over here. So the volume for the first rectangular prism, we have a, a length of four feet times a width of seven times a height of 16. So that's 448 cubic feet. Now let's calculate the volume of the second rectangular prism. So we know the left, it's four. We don't know the height, nor do we know the width. Now this part is 15 and this part is seven, which means this part is seven. So this part here has to be the difference of 15 and seven. 15 minus 7 is 8. So I'll put it right here. This part is 8 feet. And I'm going to highlight that segment. So we have a width of 8 feet, a length of 4 feet. Now we need to determine the height. The height of this part is 16. And the height of this part, which is the same as that part, that's 10. So this part here has to be the difference of 16 and 10. So this part here is 16 minus 10, which is 6 feet. So now we can calculate the volume of the second rectangular prism. We have a length of 4, a width of 8, and a height of 6. 4 times 8 is 32 times 6, that's 192. So we have 192 cubic feet. Now to get the total volume of the composite rectangular prism, we're going to add V1 and V2. So it's going to be 448 plus 192. And so that's going to give us a total composite, a total volume of 640 cubic feet. So that's how you could find the volume of this particular composite rectangular prism. Now let's move on to our second example. So for this problem, let's break this figure into two rectangular prisms. So I'm going to draw a line here and extend this one here as well. 
we'll call this V1 and the one on top V2. So for the first rectangular prism V1, we have a length of 13 feet. The width is four feet. Now what we need to determine is the height. Here, the height is 10. Over here, this part, the height is seven. 10 minus seven will give us this height, which is three. So now we can calculate V1. So it's gonna be the length of 13 feet times the width of four times the height of three. Four times three is 12 times 13, that's 156. So this is 156 cubic feet. Now let's focus on V2. For V2, we have a length of five, a width of four, and we already have the height of seven. So that will give us the volume of this rectangular prism right here. Highlighted in blue. So the length is five, width is four, height is seven. Five times four is 20 times seven, that's 140. So we have 140 cubic feet. And now we can calculate the total volume by adding the first two volumes. 156 plus 140, that's gonna be 296 cubic feet. For those of you who want to quickly access my math and science video playlist, feel free to check out the website video-tutor.net. You'll find playlists on algebra, geometry, trig, pre-cal, calculus, general chemistry, organic chemistry, physics, statistics, and other topics as well. And you can also access my final exam review videos on this website, in addition to my test prep videos. And there's some other links that you can explore here as well. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. Now let's move on to our third example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line here. So this will give me my two rectangular prisms. So the first one, you could see it highlighted in blue. So that's gonna be the first rectangular prism. The second one is just gonna be the one that's in front. So that's gonna represent V2. So let's focus on V1. For the first rectangular prism, we have a length of 18. We have a height of 10, but we need to determine the width. So if this part is 12 and this is 5 then this has to be 7 because 12 minus 5 is 7 so this is going to be 7 centimeters so now we can calculate v1 the length is 18 the width is 7 and the height is 10 7 times 10 is 70 times 18 that's 1260 and this is cubic centimeters now let's calculate v2 so for v2 the length will still be 18 centimeters we have a width of 5 and a height of 4 so length times width, the width is five times height, which is four. Five times four is 20 times 18, that's 360. So it's 360 cubic centimeters. So now let's calculate the total volume, V1 plus V2. 1260 plus 360, that's gonna give us 1620 cubic centimeters. So that's the total volume of this composite figure. 
Now let's move on to our fourth example. Now for this one, I'm going to separate it into these two composite figures. So this is going to be the first rectangular prism and the bottom one's going to be the second. So for the first rectangular prism, we can see that we have a length of 16, a width of 5, and a height of 4. So V1 is going to be length times width times height. 5 times 4 is 20, 20 times 16 is 320. So that's going to be 320 cubic inches. Now V2, we can see that we have a length of 4, a width of 5, and a height of 10. So this one wasn't too bad. So length times width times height, 4 times 5 is 20, times 10, that's going to be 200. So 200 cubic inches. If we add 320 and 200, we'll get a total volume of 520 cubic inches. So that's it for this example. Now, for those of you who want to find other related content, feel free to check out the links in the description section below. So you can find it by clicking on more. And I have other videos like how to find the area of a trapezoid, a parallelogram, a rhombus, a kite, an equilateral triangle, and also how to find things like volume, surface area of a rectangular prism, a triangular prism, and other shapes. So feel free to take a look at this when you get a chance for those of you who are interested in that. Now let's move on to our last example. So let's break this up into three rectangular prisms. So I'm going to draw a line here and here. So for the first rectangular prism, this is going to be the one on the left, the big one. We have the length, the width, and the height. So this is the one that we're looking for. So notice that the length is the same as what we have here. So that's going to be eight units. Now, what is the width of this rectangular prism? Notice that this part is 16. This is four, this is five. So these three parts must add to 16. To get the missing part, we can do 16 minus four, which is 12. 12 minus five is seven. So this part has to be seven. Now we need the height. What is the height of this prism? So notice that this height is four, this is six, this is five. If we add these three values, we'll get the height here. Four plus six is 10, 10 plus five is 15. So this prism has a height of 15 units. We'll call this V1. So the volume of V1 is going to be the length of 8 times the width of 7 times the height of 15. 8 times 7 is 56 times 15. This is going to be 840 cubic units. Now let's focus on V2. So V2 also has a length of 8. That part is the same. V2 has a width of 5, and now the height is going to be the sum of these two numbers. It's 4 plus 6, which is 10. So we have a length of 8, a width of 5, and a height of 10. 8 times 5 is 40. 40 times 10 is 400. Now for the last one, we have a length of 8 a width of 4, a height of 4. So it's 8 times 4 times 4. So that's going to be 100 
and 28. So now we can add these three values to get the total volume. 840 plus 400 plus 128. This is going to be 1368 cubic units. So that's how we could find the volume of this composite rectangular prism.